How do you like Zazen? <laughs> Maybe better to ask you, how do you like brown rice? <laughs> I think this is a better question. Zazen is too much. <laughs> brown rice, I think, uh, just right. Actually, not much different. Zazen is strong food, like uh, brown rice. I was very much interested in the way you eat brown rice. Naturally, when you eat brown rice, you have to chew it. Unless you chew it, it is difficult to swallow. So you chew it very well. Your mouth looks like a part of a kitchen. <laughs> You are cooking brown rice in your mouth. <laughs> when we digest completely the food, what will become of it? It will circulate all of our body. And what will become of our body sooner or later will die. <laughs> <laughs> to eat brown rice is natural. Now, when you eat white rice, that kind of natural process will be disturbed because your mouth stop chewing it and stop cooking it and stop changing it to, into something. Without changing it, your mouth will push the rice in your tummy. So there is some gap <laughs> in uh, our organic uh, process. This organic process is called emptiness. Why we call it emptiness is it has no form. We know we are empty. And we started to know now uh, this earth is empty. It is not permanent. So emptiness is ultimate reality. And emptiness is not something which could be understood when you make space trip. Emptiness could be understood when you are chewing rice. But even though you do not practice Zazen, if you chew brown rice, if you accept brown rice and start it to chew over and over, if you find true meaning of emptiness in each chew, then that is a real practice. You think if you go somewhere else, you will find some good teacher. <laughs> but as long as you have that kind of attitude, choosing and discrimination, you will not have a good teacher. It is you which is wrong, <laughs> not teacher because you cannot accept good teacher because of your discrimination, because of your lack of effort to be yourself. So the most important point is establish yourself on yourself, not on your delusion. Delusion is necessary. Delusion is not something on which you can establish yourself. It is like, uh, you know, step ladder, you know. You can use it, but you shouldn't stay on step ladder. <laughs> so that is why I say, don't run away. Stick to me. But it doesn't mean, you know, stick to me. <laughs> it means stick yourself, not to delusion. Sometime I may be a delusion. <laughs> he is a good teacher. That is already a delusion. <laughs> I am your friend. I am just practicing with you. We must uh, continue to <coughs> practice Zazen and continue to chew on brown rice. Eventually, we will accomplish something.